Miss Langwood do you want to talk to you about? Well, why don't you wait till your father comes out so we can talk to you together? Oh, you are so dead. <laughs> I'm not dead. Well, am I dead? No, you're not dead. Nobody's dead. Grandpa's dead. <laughs> Nobody in this room is dead. There he is. The smartest kid in the whole school. Hey, Pop. I was talking to Jimmy. <laughs> Did you tell him yet? Tell me what yet? What's going on? Well, remember that exam you took yesterday at school? You mean when they checked us for head lice? <laughs> I feel good. <laughs> I'm talking about the aptitude test. Well, it turns out that you did extremely well on it. That's great. How did I do on the hair lice test? Did I pass it? <laughs> you took an aptitude test? Yeah, you did. You did so well, they want to put them in an enrichment program, the same one you're in, Derek. Are you serious? <laughs> of course he's serious, brother. I knew this day would come. <laughs> What's the enrichment program? It's when they take gifted kids from each grade and put them together for one period of the day. <laughs> this is some kind of joke, right? It'd be great. You get to work on special projects. Sounds great. I look forward to working on these special projects with you, Derek. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What is happening there? This is insane. None of this is making any sense. <laughs> I feel so proud. <laughs> Come, my sons. I feel like the father of the Williams sisters. <laughs> Only thing you're boys. And instead of rackets, y'all use your brains. And have smaller thighs and buttocks. <laughs> It says here this chocolate has 17 grams of sugar per serving, which means that two servings equals twice as much. I don't know if you're smarter, but you're definitely more annoying. You're just jealous. Why would I be jealous of you? Because I've got a big old brain. I've got a big brain too, and I'm four grades higher than you. Not for long. I'm planning on skipping the grade, and then another, and before you know it, all be in college hanging out with college girls while you're still in the sixth grade finger painting. <laughs> I don't know, Jimmy, you're in for a big surprise. What are you talking about? You're out of your league. When you come to that class tomorrow, those kids are going to be throwing around some big words. So? I can't handle big words. Really? Ever hear of chlorophyll? What's that? <laughs> what about mitosis? You're making those words up. Oh, yeah. This is going to be fun. Good luck, Neophyte. Oh, tell him. Mom, Dad called me a Neophyte. Look, forget her. I know what I'm talking about. You're going to have to leave him. He's never going to change, Rita. He's never going to change. I know men, and we are pigs. Pigs. Mm-hmm. Game ain't men to that. What's going on here? Ooh, Tracy, listen to this. Rita's fiance was getting it on with her best friend. She's devastated. Tracy, why do you put that can of carburetor cleaner? Spoon, what is Freddie doing in here? A die job. <laughs> no, what is he doing in here? Well, Freddie told us that you'd be okay with it. No, I'm not okay with it. And why aren't you working? Oh, well, he said he could squeeze me in before it's one o'clock. <laughs> Freddie, can I speak to you for a minute? Yeah, it's a good time. This needs to set for 20 minutes anyway. Uh, sugar, don't, don't scratch at it. Just, just pack it. But you got to go right now. I'm running a business. Oh, so what I'm doing isn't work? Huh? Come on, Tracy, you told me to follow my dream. And if I go to Hair Force One with a client list, they'll have to hire me. Freddie, I am not running a beauty salon. You have to pack up your curlers and get out now. So I see what's going on first. You tell me, go on, follow your dream, Freddie. Now you tell me I can't have a hair salon in your garage. Okay, all right. Well, this is crazy. You crazy. You probably just want your hair done for free. <laughs> Come on, Rita, pack up your stuff. Let's go. I can rinse you off in the alley. <laughs> all right, everybody. I pulled a few strings and I had these skeletons brought in from the high school. Now, this is Bob and this is Betty. I know that because Betty has a larger pelvis and won't give me the time of day. 
that Joe kills in the seventh grade. <laughs> all right. I want you to identify all the bones on your checklist. I'll be back in 15 minutes. Are you kidding? The teacher just leaves. This is the best class ever. Just sit down and do your paper, Jimmy. I got this, man. Don't worry about it. Man. <laughs> Hello, Bay. <laughs> Looking good. <laughs> Lose some weight. <laughs> I can't believe my brother's in this class. He's so embarrassing. I think he's funny. You do? If your daddy, you know, would clap your hands. <laughs> Come on, everybody. If your daddy, you know, would clap your hands. <laughs> you think that's funny? Watch this. Buddy's even funny. <laughs> you who, Bob? I lost my wedding ring. It must have slipped off. What? I spent eight hundred dollars on that ring, woman. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. Why don't you come in and give me a big kiss? You don't need any lips. Oh uh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. What kind of woman do you think I am? Take that. What have you done to Betty? You said you'd be gone 15 minutes. That was like four. <laughs> you want me to take her to the nurse's office? Two boys, two notes from the teacher. Very impressive. I don't know what happened, Mom. I thought it was a good idea because the girl that I like, Simone, started laughing at Jimmy. And I wanted her to laugh at me. So I was making my skeleton kiss his skeleton. But then the head popped right off when Mr. Bryant came in. Okay, Derek, calm down. I would not calm down. I want to go to med school. This thing will get on my permanent record. They hear about these kind of things. You'll get out. <laughs> med school? Who's supposed to pay for that? It's so cute how he gets all worked up. <laughs> Give him time. He'll learn that it's no big deal. It is a big deal. Baby, why don't you go in there and talk to Derek, and I'll deal with this one. Really? Yeah, yeah. OK. Did you start this whole skeleton thing? You know I did. It was funny. You would have loved it. You're grounded. Oh, come on, Dad. It's just us. <laughs> I'm serious. You're grounded for a week. I've been defending your behavior since the beginning. And I'm not going to do it anymore. Oh, come on, Dad. I'm gifted. There are no excuses. See, I wanted to believe that you were goofing off because you were bored and smart. But you're just goofing off because you're a goof-off. <laughs> and that's fine, but not in school. Do you understand? Oh, wow. You really are serious, aren't you? Don't I look serious? I don't know. I keep waiting for you to make a joke or crack a smile. Oh, oh, do I eat it? <laughs> <laughs> hey, go to your room. I do Aunt Edith when I see you the next time. In a week. <laughs> ice cream out of the container because you're depressed? That's a woman thing. Oh, baby, I'm not depressed. I just didn't want to wash out a bowl. <laughs> well, I appreciate your help with Jimmy. Baby, it's pretty hard to punish him for something that I used to do. Oh, I feel like this is just the beginning because you did a lot of bad things when you were growing up. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I still do. I'm just kidding. Would you guys mind looking over my apology letter that I wrote to Mr. Bryan? Uh, don't you think this is a bit much? It's just I wanted to get into a good college, and I don't want what happened today to mess that up. Let me let you in on a little secret, Derek. Nothing you do in the sixth grade is going to have an effect on you the rest of your life. So you're telling me that I can goof off in class and do whatever I want and won't matter at all? Yeah, pretty much. Cool, forget about that letter. <laughs> hey, I'm going to go work on a severed hat boy. <laughs> Okay, now you're back to not helping. Now, I'll be right back. Them boys got to stop stealing my material. 